In this video, we are going to learn about the law of sines. Let us look at a triangle ABC. Here we have a triangle ABC. In this triangle ABC, the angles are denoted with an uppercase letter or capital A, capital B and C. Those are the three angles and we also have three sides the three sides are AB BC is the second side because it is a segment with the two end points of a line that's why I call it as BC line segment and the third one is CA so these are the three angles and the second three are the sides. Now the measure of the side AB is equal to C units and the measure of side BC is equal to A units and uh, the third one the measure of the side CA is equal to B units. That is the length of AB. I'll write it here the length of AB, the measure of AB is equal to C units. So the length of AB is equal to C units. The length of BC is equal to A units. And the length of CA is equal to B units. It can be either in centimeters or inches, whatever the length they give us. So what we have to remember here is always the side opposite to this uppercase A. The side opposite to this angle A is denoted by a lowercase A. And A is a number which tells us the length of the BC. See, for this angle A, when I am talking about this angle A, the side opposite is BC, right? And the measure of BC is equal to A units. In other words, I can just remember angle A, the opposite is side A. The measure of this side BC is A. Similarly, opposite to this angle B, you have a lowercase b. And opposite to this angle C, I have this angle, I mean the side C. So those are the things I have to keep in mind. Now, what is the relationship between these uh, measures of the angles with reference to the sides in a given triangle? That is where this law of sines comes into picture. So the relationship between these sides and angles is as follows. We have here a over sin A is equal to B over sin B and that is equal to C over sin C. So in any given triangle ABC, if these are the angles, angle A, angle B and angle C and the corresponding measurements of the sides are this lowercase a, b and c. We talked about them just now like a is the side opposite to the angle a lowercase b is the side opposite to the angle b and the lowercase c is the side opposite to the angles and the relationship between them is given here a that is lowercase a over sine a is same as this b over sine b and that is same as c over sine c that is what is known as law of sine now let us solve a problem using the law of sines. Okay, so here we have a triangle ABC in which the measure of angle B is 78 degrees. The measure of angle C is given as 66 degrees and you are asked to, to find what is the measure of the side AB. You are looking for this side AB. So like we discussed in a triangle ABC, the side opposite to C is lowercase c or the 
measure of the side AB, I can call it as C. So I take a lowercase c for this and even I can write it over there. This is c is equal to how much? That's the question mark we have. Okay. Now let's see that is lowercase c. Find the value of c. Now let us also denote the other uh, information like this is lowercase a the side opposite to angle a is the lowercase a which is the measure of bc and this uh, 30 meters is the measure of ac and uh, that is lowercase b so you have lowercase a opposite to a here this is opposite to b and that is c and you are looking for a c here now let me bring up my formula or the law of sine that I have here okay the law of sines here we have a, the measure of a it is not given to us so don't touch a angle a also is not given so I will not go to this ratio now let me see the next one b the measure of b is given to us so I'll put a check mark for B and uh, the measure of angle B is given. Okay. Now C is not given, but you are asked to find what is the measure of this uh, lowercase c. So that is a question mark here. Angle C is given to me. All right. So now in this law of signs, out of those three ratios, I have some info in the second ratio and also in the third first ratio i don't have anything so i can just discard this piece i don't need the first ratio with reference to this problem okay now let me substitute the values for b the measure of this b is a, how much 30 meters i'll write 30 and underneath sign b the measure of b is 78 that is equal to c that's a question mark i don't know what is c right now over sine c sine c which is 66 degrees all right now in order to find the value of a c the c the unknown thing is here so i have to find the value of c the easiest way is just multiply both sides by sine 66. When I multiply, what happens? If I multiply it by sine 66 degrees here, on the right hand side and on the left hand side also, when I do sine 66 degrees, what happened here? On sine 66 and sine 66 got cancelled and uh, on the right hand side here you are left with only c so i'll write that c is equal to sine 66 degrees times 30 let me make use of parenthesis also over sine 78 degrees now i'll use my calculator and uh, enter all this find what is the value of c so here i have a calculator now i turned it on first i'll enter sine 66 sine 66 close the parenthesis times 30 divide sine 78 sine 78 i'll close the parenthesis and make sure that you are in a degrees mode so here right now i'm in radians so i'll go ahead and change it to degree mode because all the measures are given to us in degrees so go to the degrees highlight hit enter and then you can hit second and mode again so that you'll go back there 
and make sure that I enter the values right. Sine 66 times 30 and then divide sine 78. Yeah, everything looks good. Hit enter. So my answer is 28.0186382. Okay, so if I round it to the nearest tenth, I can as well write it as 28.0, right? That is the value of C. So C is equal to 28.0. That is the measure of the side AB. So they are looking for the length of AB. So the length of AB is equal to 28. Point zero, I can write or don't write it. It's just the same. It won't make any difference. 28 meters is the answer. Right. Now, what if you have to find the measure of the angle? Okay. So, before going to that, let me just review. I have to do what here? Before I start my problem, I, first thing is I need to label. If you can label it correctly, like lowercase a b and c whatever information is supplied and uh, check on that and uh, then decide on which two ratios you have to take into consideration and just simplify you'll get your answer easily okay now let us go to the angle let us find an angle here in this problem you are looking for the measure of angle c so what is the measure of angle C? That's the question. And let us go ahead and label the other stuff. Now, this is the angle A, which is 84, opposite to angle A, that is lowercase a, and its measure is 22 feet. And uh, B, they didn't give us, I'll just write lowercase b here. And uh, C is uh, 21 feet. The lowercase c is equal to 21 feet. Now, what is the a law of sine that we have here, it's stated as A over sine A is equal to B over sine B and that is equal to C over sine C. Okay. Now, given the measure of A, so A is given to you, the angle A is given, B and this B, you don't know anything about these two, but they gave us lowercase c, c is equal to 21 feet, I'll put a check mark here, and looking for sine c, I mean angle c I have to find. So I don't have to do anything with the second ratio. Alright, now let us substitute the values. A is 22, so 22 over sine A, that is 84 degrees, that is equal to C, 21 feet, 21 over sine C, C is the thing you are looking for, so I'll just write sin C. Now, the easiest way to find the value of this uh, C, the measure of angle C, is just to cross multiply. So, on cross multiplication, we get 22 times sin C is equal to 21 times sin 84 degrees. Now, I'm looking for this angle C. So let, uh, let me hold on to this sign C and divide or take away this 22 from the left hand side. So I have to divide both sides by 22, dividing the left hand side and right hand side by 22. I'll cancel out this 22 and 22. So I'm left with the sign C which is equal to 21 times sine 84 over 22. Okay, 
now let us enter these numbers in our calculator and find what is the value of sine c okay i have my calculator here now enter 21 times sine 84 close the parenthesis divide 22 is equal to 0.9493 so let me take it here all right sine c sine c is equal to 0 0.94 sorry 0 0.9493 i rounded it to the fourth decimal now we are looking for the angle c so i'll write so angle c is equal to sine inverse i have to use this inverse trigonometric ratio sine inverse 0 0.9493 so let us enter this again in your calculator so i'll hit second and sine again by hitting second and sine i got my inverse here so 0 0.9493 close the parenthesis and uh, you'll get 71.67 point, 71 point let me see that is 71.67 angle c is equal to 71.7 degrees that is rounded to the nearest to tenth sometimes you can also do this instead of rounding it up directly make use of this particular value to find angle c what you could have done is i'll show it here angle c is equal to sine inverse from there I'm going 21 times sine 84 degrees over 22 close the parenthesis now enter it in your calculator let me clear it up second sine so you got sine inverse i have parenthesis 21 times sine 84 close the parenthesis divide 22 now one more parenthesis close hit enter so you have 71.680 zero nine eight two three which is slightly different but this answer is more accurate you can as you can write it as the same thing of course when you round it to the nearest tenth it won't make much of a difference but when you are looking up to the fourth decimal and in such case you can as well find it directly so in this case also my answer is 71.7 degrees that's all thank you